this isn't a bad this isn't a bad office you got back here. You know, yeah. not, too, oh, not too many people come back here, you know. We just, oh, come on. <laughs> Which, oh wait, I'm sorry, I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Touch. 1978 review, scene one, take one. Well, 1978's just about gone, and uh, a lot of crazy things have happened, not only on oh, the no. early morning. Cut, 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 right from the top, Bill. I tell you, I don't know. 1978 review, scene one, take two. <clears throat> Bill, 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 well, you know, 1978's just about behind us now, and a lot of crazy things have not only happened uh, around the world, but on... Hey, Bill, hey, you got yeah, any papers? Cut! Uh, no, somebody cut. took the sports, cut. sports cut. section. I haven't seen it cut. since. I, yeah. Once again, Bill, take it from the top. Bill Tush! Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. <clears throat> Bill Tush! All right, jeez, oh, man, you think... one, take three. <laughs> Well, you know, 1978's just about behind us now. When you think about some of the things that have happened between last year and all the way till the close of this year, a lot of crazy things have happened, not only in the world of news, but on our early morning news show. And that's why we've decided to take this little half hour to, to kind of look back over the year and see different things that have happened to us. I think one of the main things was last January when our co-anchor person joined us, Tina Selden, a young lady from Augusta, Georgia, took her place at our news desk. This is 17 Update early in the morning. Now here's the Ozzy and Harriet of TV News, Bill Tush and Tina Selden. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Tina. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Recently, WTCG's newsroom has received several letters asking that the nonsense stop on the early morning news show, which you're watching now. Now, with a rebuttal on this so-called nonsense, here is Channel 17's news director, Bill Tush. What is this nonsense we have received letters about? I certainly don't know. We here at Early Morning News try to maintain dignity and respect, especially with the news we report. Let no one accuse us of nonsense. To those, I say... And that's the way we feel about this propitious yet redundant reprisal. Thank you. Address all rebuttals to this editorial to Editorial Department, channels 25 or 11, Atlanta, Georgia. Anyway, let's get the uh, weather forecast as we always do from none other than Tina. Oh, oh sorry. Thank you, that's sorry. quite all right. An Italian judge yesterday acquitted a 28-year-old man on charges of committing obscene acts in public. The man had been arrested for repeatedly pinching his girlfriend on the behind, but witnesses said all he did was pat her affectionately and said there's nothing wrong with that. And we'll be back with more of Update right after this. Grab my TV and then run out. That's take one. That's the seventy-eight program. Oh, you know, 1978 was a really great year for uh, Poland. Not only was Cardinal Wojtyla of Warsaw elected pope, but in June the Soviet Union launched Soyuz 30, and aboard Soyuz 30 was none other than the first Polish cosmonaut, Romanesco Zaskusko. He stayed in space for 30 days. It was at that very time that Channel 17 brought you the launching live coverage of the Polish rocket. Five, four, three, three two, two, engine sequence start. Zero. One, zero, launch commit. We have a liftoff. All engines building up thrust. Engine is Moving operating out. in a stable manner. Yeah. There's a slight movement of the booster oscillation. 30 seconds. The flight is proceeding normally. 40 seconds. The flight is normal. New never steady power cells. Knock it off. Go ahead. I dare you. <laughs> 
Roller coasters have been a favorite ride in amusement parks probably since all oh, the 1800s, and they still continue to be that. Well, in the spring of 1978, Six Flags Over Georgia went ahead and announced their new roller coaster ride, the Mindbender. And 17 update early in the morning took you there. Playing Bill Touch 1978 review, Mindbender scene 11, take one. You're too late. You're oh. too late. This is Bill Tush, thrill seeker. This is the same Bill Tush who rode a hot air balloon high over Stone Mountain. The balloon was high, Bill wasn't. The same Bill Tush who rode on the wing of a biplane hundreds of feet over Peachtree City. The same Bill Tush who walked alone early one morning on Peachtree Street between 10th and 14th. Now, he will attempt another death-defying feat, riding the Mindbender at Six Flags over Georgia. The Mindbender, the world's only triple-loop roller coaster, opened at Six Flags Friday night. And Bill Tush, never fearing anything, rode the 3,000 feet of track which twists and pitches over three acres. G's of pressure at over 50 miles an hour, our hero, in Silver LeMay, braved the pressure. At some points feeling almost weightless and over five times his actual weight, he again experienced another of his life's thrills. And so Bill Tush, thrill seeker, once again bravely accomplishes another heart-stopping experience. What nerve, what ignorance to fear, what incredible kidneys. Bill Tush, thrill seeker. New Never Steady Power Cells. Go ahead, knock it off, I dare you, go ahead. Recently, Channel 17 read an editorial condemning the use of marijuana. Here speaking in reply to that editorial position is the leader of United Heads for Hemp, Mr. Ashley Roachclip. Mr. Roachclip. Uh, Mr. Roachclip. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of people out there say that, like, grass is bad for you, and, uh, and it does things to you like it makes you lose your memory. Well, I just want to say, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, that marijuana isn't, isn't oh. marijuana. <laughs> that grass, I just want to say, like, I've been smoking grass for 20 years every day and you can't get hooked on it and uh all those and then all those that think grass is bad for you while well, they're all <laughs> this program provides equal employment opportunities to qualifiable applicants without regard to race religion color sexual preference national origin or intelligence you know when you have a job like mine it's funny the stuff you collect over one year's time so from last january until now i have saved everything being a pack rat and I brought it all in to uh, give you a look at it. This is some of the things you come up with after one year. You get books. Everybody likes books, so we've got all sorts of books here. Books, half of them were never even read, but we got them anyway. 
And then t-shirts. Now everybody likes to have t-shirts. You can see I got a collection of t-shirts back here, probably every size and color we can think of. We don't have a rainbow t-shirt, but uh, we'll probably get one in 79. And then if you are into uh, movies, like so many of us are, you not only get to go see the movie, but they give you a thing called a press kit. Now inside these press kits, you have uh, stories on all the stars. You have eight by 10 glossies. Sometimes you get press kits from hit movies like Animal House, and sometimes you get press kits for movies like this that played for oh, two or three days somewhere. And what else do we, records. Now that's fun, everybody likes records. So we've got a whole collection. These aren't even all the records that I've picked up in one year's time, but just some of them. Once again, example, you've got good records. There's the Wiz from the big hit movie. And then you've got some records you kind of ask yourself about. This is Can't Stand the Rosillos, and it's got a couple, hit, a couple of hits on it, like I Can't Stand My Baby, uh, Bad Guy Reaction, and Somebody's Gonna Get Their Head Kicked In Tonight. So there, it's whenever you're having a punk rock party, it's good background music right there. And then you have hats, you've got helmets, you've got this, it keeps you out of the rain. That's a little promotion hat for somebody. Oh, back to the movies, uh, you not only get press kits, but you get little things like here's Cheech and Chong matches, Cheech and Chong ashtray, and last but not least, I gotta mention the trophies. Now, one day last year, I was into a, a little celebrity racquetball tournament. I had never played racquetball in my life. I played for 15 minutes, and there, I've got a trophy for the racquetball. Also, they gave me a t-shirt, which is in here somewhere else. Now, this, this one fascinates me. This is a trophy that we received from the United States Army. It has my name on it and our station's name. And why the Army gave me that trophy, I really don't know. When I got out nine years ago, maybe a goodbye to Bad Rubbish Award, I can understand. But this is my favorite trophy, really. This trophy here was just given to us. It's to the finest news staff in Atlanta. I'm quite proud of that. That was presented to us by the employees of the AAA Trophy Company in Decatur, Georgia. So that's just some, some of the junk you collect you know, over a year's time. I think I'd have a garage sale with all this. You know, what else can I do with it? You know, hey, excuse me for one minute. Well, you know, like I was looking at all the stuff that you got. You, you say you got all this in one year's time. Yeah, huh? collect it all. Nice T-shirts. You mm -hmm. got Every, books and everything. Everything there, you could trophies, do. hats. Mm -hmm. you know, you got and the Wiz, the yeah, Wiz. Yeah, good, good record there. You, you know. see this? You got all a couple of big names in there. If I have a garage sale, I'll let you know about it. Wait, I mean, let me buy this from you right now. I'll give you what five you, bucks for it right you, now. What are you, crazy as album hey, sell for twelve ninety five? Come on, man. Let me have it for five dollars. I can't. I don't know. Hey, that's rare. Yeah, that'll yeah. go good with your yeah, pants. Somebody got blue pants there. Oh, try it on. Try you give uh, money hey, back. Two bucks. Two, two, two bucks for this. Two bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll give you that hat. Hey, three fifty. Three fifty. Don't walk away with that. We're talking about dollar Got it for a dollar fifty. No, that doesn't. That's not bad. That's you know. Hey, righty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Don't walk away with anything until I get the price for it. Now. Hey, hey. Not the trophy. Okay. What goes? Another important member of the early morning news team joined us in 1978, the unknown newsman, graduated from a Nebraska high school in the mid-1960s. After college and draft evasion, unknown left his high school sweetheart, his mom, dad, and little brother, and made his way to the big city. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. Keeping his identity a secret has not been an easy task, as we found out on one early morning newscast last July. But the limb became stuck. Firemen hey, were called, and they... Who are you, anyway? Who, who is this? Who is hey, 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 get out of here! Oh Wait, one minute. Where the heck did that guy come from? Holy mackerel! Oh my God! Did you see that building? Did you see? Who is he? He knocked out my light. No, I can't see a thing. Oh, oh my goodness! Who was that guy? I've never seen anything. No, that was incredible. I'm surprised you're touching me with your new suit on. Oh, well, hey, no All right, problem. Thanks for helping me. I don't hope I don't get anything on. I want to. I'm sorry, I won't shake. I want to tell you, Bill. I. Where did that guy come? From? I don't. I covered the. Is he out of the studio? Is he out? Yeah, he's gone. It's safe now. I know. I covered the 68. I want to tell you out there. Get, get, get a close up on my down. bag. Calm down. Are you You're getting my bag? The shreds. I had. I covered the 68 political convention in Chicago. I covered. I covered Hurricane oh, Edna last summer. I, I. I followed Billy Martin around for a year, but I want to tell you. That was an incredible, shoddy, shoddy performance. I've never seen. We'll have to take a break.
In putting together our show for tonight, we reminisced over a whole year's worth of tapes, and it seems like we found out one thing that I'll bet you almost half of our early morning news shows have ended up with somebody on the floor back behind the news desk. The justices refused to reconsider their controversial ruling that allows police with warrants to search newsrooms and other places where no one is suspected of a crime. The high court voted... Oh, excuse uh, me, miss. My name is uh, Agent Ross, and I'm trying to find Bill Touch. Bill Touch. There I am. You're Bill Tush? Are yeah. you Bill Tush, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm Agent Ross. What do you want? Please don't move! What? Up against that wall! Oh, move! 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 Right, where's the film? Where's the film? I don't have any film. You don't have any film. I don't have any film. You don't have any film. I don't have any film. Where's that film? Well, we're, we'll be, we have a little problem. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Where's the film? I don't have any film. I don't have any film. I don't have any film. Born again was a phrase heard often during 1978. Thousands of Americans claimed to be born again. One of them, Ben Buten, age 33, was born again in May of this year. Mother and son are reported to be doing fine. can happen anywhere, and that's why Channel 17 News maintains a fleet of mobile units. Mobility, a key word in any news operation. Vehicles that can get to the job and provide whatever's necessary. WTCG's fleet of mobile units, covering the streets of Atlanta in a professional way. Because when news happens, WTCG wants to be there to tell you about it. WTCG's mobile news, complete with Instamatics, keeping you informed with an eye on Atlanta 24 hours a day, filmed by Friday. Oh, I'm on my way to a wedding where the entire wedding party is completely naked. Ought to be something to see. Why don't you come along with me? Everybody wants to have a wedding to remember, and that's why Mary Steidelman, who works as a dancer in an Atlanta nightclub, and Randy Cunningham decided to get married in the buff. Now, that isn't strange enough, then the fact that Mary is a woman as a result of a sex change operation may make it strange. And if that isn't strange enough, then the fact that Randy and Mary were living together when she was a guy may make it strange. You ask why? Randy explained. Well, I felt a lot poor, you know, before, you know, before her surgery. Like I said, we lived together and everything like that. And, you know, me and Mary just gotten along perfectly ever since. Three Could years. I ask what your relationship was with each other then before the operation? Uh, real good friends, you know, like brother and sister, you know, sort of. Brother and sister, although at the time you were still a male. Yes. Is the reason because of your two your relationship with each other was that one of the reasons why you wanted to have the operation? No, that had nothing to do with it. I've been living as a woman for eight years. So Mary was dancing as a woman before the operation. You might keep that in mind next time you're ogling a woman dancer. The old saying, you can't tell a book by its cover, was never more true. By the way, as we head into 1979, Randy and Mary are still happily married. You know, uh, you can't help getting into the spirit of a thing like that, you know? I mean, I'd like to say that uh, I have... Well, come on, get into the spirit, Tina. A little bit of fun, huh? No, I'm not come taking on. my clothes off. Uh, hey, you, you know, come show. on, this is show business. No you know? way. Hey, there wouldn't be any difference between... Up. No, no difference between you and me. Come on, what the heck, you know? It's a wedding party. Insult How many people me? get married like... I don't like care. That? You know, I just... You know, this fun. is your announcer saying it's only good if it's free. This program has been pre-recorded. Could be a good time. Could be a good time. I think it's disgusting. I'm sorry. New Never Steady Power Cells. Well. Wow. 
And as we wrap up 1978 and look at all the things that have happened during the past year, how can we possibly come to the end of any show about 17 Update early in the morning and not hear something from this guy? And now it's time for Reflections with Brother Gold. Do you think I'm sexy? By Rod Stewart. Sugar, sugar. She sits alone waiting for suggestions. He's so nervous, avoiding all the questions. His lips are dry. Her heart's gently pounding. Don't you just know exactly what they're thinking? If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, sugar, let me know. If you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Come on, honey, tell me so. He's acting shy, looking for an answer. Come on, honey, let's spend the night together. Now, hold on a minute. Before we go much further, give me a dime so I can phone my mother. They catch a cab to his high-rise apartment. At last, he can tell her exactly what is happening. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, sugar, let me know. If you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Come on, honey, tell me so. Come on, sugar, let me know. They wake at dawn as all the birds are singing. Two total strangers. But that ain't what they're thinking. <laughs> Outside is cold, misty, and it's raining. Now, I know the discrepancy here. If it's misty, cold, and it's raining, how are all the birds singing? They've got each other. There'll be no words complaining. He says, I'm sorry, but I'm out of milk and coffee. Never mind sugar. We can watch the early movie. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, sugar, let me know. If you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Come on, honey, tell me so. Well, we hope you enjoyed our look over 1978 and some of the things that happened on our early morning news show, and we'll uh, stick around and join in the celebration of 1979. We're here in the green room of our station, and we're waiting for those last few moments of this past year to tick away, and then we'll bring in the new year. A few of our favorite people left us in 1978, people like Gig Young, Bob Crane, Will Gear, Chill Wills, just to name a few. Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden were divorced in 1978. So was our director, Greg Gunn, for that matter. Richard Nixon published his not-too-revealing memoirs this past summer. So, what has 1979 to bring us? Well, time will tell. So let's just sit here and celebrate 1979 together as those last couple seconds tick away. And hey, Bill. Your, hey, hi, Mark. Ron. Ron, you going to stick around and celebrate New Year's with us? Just Cele a couple minutes away, huh? Celebrate. Have you been using this clock here, Bill? Yeah. Well, that clock is a couple of minutes slow. It's... Well, it's past midnight right now. You're kidding. We yeah, missed, well, here, well, sure, it's right here on TV. We watch. New Year's? Yep, I think no. so, bro. See you later. Happy New Year. I don't believe. How the heck did we. How do we. Mark here. How do we miss New Year's? Who's in charge of the clocks? We can't. We got to be the only people I know that miss New Year's. This is embarrassing. This is really embarrassing. Oh. And I don't... Well, Happy New Year anyway. I'm sorry we're late. Boy, this is really uh, an embarrassing situation.